Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, let us take a look into at lazy annotation. Well, by default, Spring creates all singleton beans eagerly at the startup of application context. It means while starting the application context itself, all the Spring beans are eagerly created. Well, you can also load the Spring beans lazily by using at lazy annotation. Well, sometime we may have a requirement to load the Spring beans on demand. In that case, we can use at lazy annotation. Well, at lazy annotation can be used with at configuration annotation or at component annotation or at win annotations. Next, which one is recommended? Well, eager initialization is recommended because all the Spring beans are created eagerly at the startup of application context. And if there are any possible errors while creating Spring beans eagerly at the startup of application context, then those errors will be automatically de detected and the application should terminate. But in case of lazy initialization, we can get the errors at a runtime and this should not terminate the application. Okay, so it is always recommended to use eager initialization to avoid and detect all the possible errors immediately rather than at a runtime. Let's learn more about at lazy annotation with an example. So let's go to our project and here let me quickly create a new package. Let's call it as lazy and within a lazy package let me create a new class let's call it as eager loader all right and within this eager loader class let me create a constructor let's say eager loader and within this constructor let me put the system dot or println next let me print this eager loader class name so here let me copy this and paste it over here next create a one more class and let's call it as lazy loader perfect and within this class let's create a constructor lazy loader and then within this constructor let's have system dot print element statement and let's print this class name perfect Next, let us annotate this class with add component annotation so that Spring container can automatically create a Spring bean for this class. Next, go to eager loader class and this class also annotate with add component annotation. Okay, perfect. Next, if we run this application, then Spring IOC container create the Spring beans for these two classes eagerly. For example, if you go to main method and if you run this program and notice here eager loader lazy loader it means spring ioc container create the spring beans for these classes at a application context startup itself now let us see how to use at lazy annotation to load lazy loader class on demand okay so here go to lazy loader class and let us annotate this class with at lazy annotation Next, if we run this application, the Spring container don't create the Spring bean for this class eagerly because we have annotated this class with at lazy annotation. So this at lazy annotation tells Spring container to load the Spring bean for this class on demand. Okay. So next, go to main method and here let me run the program and notice here eager loader is printed, but the lazy loader is not printed. It means Spring container created the Spring bean for this eager loader class eagerly at the start of the application context. Next, let us see how to load the Spring bean lazily. So go to main method. Here, let's have a context object. It has a get bean method and then pass lazy loader as a type. And then let us get the result of this method in a local variable of type lazy loader here we are calling get bin method to get spring bean for this lazy loader class from the application context but this application context don't contain the spring bean for this lazy loader class right so now spring ioc container will create the spring bean for this lazy loader class on demand okay so spring container don't create the spring bean for this class eagerly at the startup of the application context because this class is annotated with at lazy annotation right so spring container will only create a spring bean for this class on demand 
okay now here you can see we are requesting a spring bean from the application contact so spring container will create spring bean for this class next if we run the application and if you can notice here lazy loader is printed it means spring container create the spring bean for this class you know lazily lazily means on demand whenever we request spring bean from the application context that time only spring spring container create the spring bean for that class okay so this is how we can use at lazy annotation to load the spring bean lazily next we can use at lazy annotation with at configuration annotation as well as at bin annotation for example if you go to app compact class over here so here you can annotate this class with at lazy annotation so whenever you annotate this class with at at lazy annotation then all the spring beans that we have configured in this class are lazily loaded next we can use at lazy annotation with at bin annotation as well so here let me remove this and let me annotate this method with at lazy annotation now this spring bean should be loaded lazily or on demand okay so this is how we can use at lazy annotation to load spring beans on demand okay so this is all about at lazy annotation